We're back here with uh, Dr. Annette DeHaro, and and uh, we've been talking about veterans and veterans issues and uh, her relationship with some folks that she's known. She mentioned on break that uh, if we were to talk about all the veterans, she knew we'd be here for well over an hour, which I can appreciate and respect. And that's only the introduction of their names and yeah. how long they've served and yeah. all that kind of stuff. But yes, what, where, do, where do you think uh, where do you think the long term what, what do you think a long term uh, fix is maybe a bad word, but solution to veteran care and veteran programs could be? You know, I and my husband have spoken about this, and one of the things that uh, I've observed is. Uh, when veterans have something happen to them and there's not a Veterans Administration Hospital close by, we actually put another strain on our veterans and ask them to travel far away and we ask their families to travel. One of the nice things that we do have that's coming here, and I'm so excited, I was there for the groundbreaking, is the Fisher House. Wow, nice. So um, that will be right across the parking lot from our Veterans uh, Hospital up in the north. However, there are veterans that are not that lucky, and uh, they do have to travel far and wide. So for us, our solution would be to have some kind of like an insurance card program where a veteran, no matter where they are, you see, they've already sacrificed for us around the world. We shouldn't make them travel anymore when they're here. If you have something that you can get really great care for, you should be able to do that in your community where your support is right there with your family rather than asking veterans one more time to travel far away from family members. That's right. There's more than, there's just one more element.